Boulder Mountain, I'd like to share what God has been doing in the life of our church here in 2023. I'm reminded of the book of Acts, where we are called His Witnesses. You and I get an opportunity to, to testify to the work of God in our life, to testify where? In Northeast Mesa, in Apache Junction. What do we do as a church? Our mission. We make disciples as we help people find and follow Jesus. And God has been good to us this year. 22 people have publicly declared their faith in Jesus through the work of baptism. So it's not about the 22, but every number is a name and every name's a story. We have another baptism coming up toward the end of October. More information to come on that. Baptism, 22 lives have been changed. I'm going to share some information with you, a lot of information with you, but I want you to be aware of what God's been doing and what we hope to do by God's grace through the rest of this year. We launched a food drive on the second Sunday of every month. Uh, food comes in. Most of that food goes to Superstition Food Bank. We hold on to some of it. Over 30 bags of food have been given through our front door here at the church. Over 1,200 pounds of food has, has come in through that food drive. We, we launched a care fund. So you can give specifically to our care fund on our website. The care fund, 100% of the funds given to the care fund go to meet needs in our church body, things like rents and utilities and food. And we've spent $7,000 meeting needs of people in our church. So thank you again for your generosity. We sent our students away to camp. We had two camps this year, junior high and high school camp. We also had a first ever preteen camp. And lives were changed through that. Thank you to our leaders that, that went there. We launched a second service here recently, not to just make room in our auditorium, but make room in our children's ministry space and in our parking lot. Thank you for all of you who moved part of that. Uh, funds were given in the Up to Date initiative. Over $30,000 were given to that. Why? Because we as a church fell behind in maintaining and caring for the facilities over the last few years. And so this year, again, by God's grace and through your generosity, we've been able to put a new roof on the auditorium. We purchased a new soundboard. We have a new website, a new database. We installed four security cameras. The parking lot will be striped and sealed here later this week. We'll put a fresh coat of paint on our building. We have some work to do with new doors. We're going to put new windows on our auditorium. Those are single pane windows, the original windows that are in really bad shape, causing our utility bill to be a little higher. So we're, our goal is to put some new windows in. We've hired Isaac Ford, our new worship director. Really excited to have he and Zoe be part of our body. They will start on Sunday, October 1st. In November, if you're a member of the church, you have an opportunity to vote on our budget for 2024. A couple things to be thinking about and praying about. Space will be an issue for Boulder Mountain Church in the future. The portal units north of our auditorium, we purchased those when they were 20 years old. That We purchased them 25 years ago. So they are 45 years old, 25 years past their normal life expectancy, and the any future solution for space at Boulder Mountain should not include those, those buildings. Also an emphasis in 2024 will be children's ministry space. We need safe environments, we need larger environments to be able to welcome young families into our church. We have to address our children's ministry space. And so we'll have some teams forming here soon to begin to think about and discern what's best for our church moving, moving forward into 2024. We've launched some recovery groups. You'll be hearing more about that. We have two step studies, uh, recovery step studies taking place every Monday night for women, every Tuesday night for men. Uh, I'm not sharing everything that the church has been doing, but those are a few things to bring you up to date and keep sharing with you what's, what's happening. All that to say, thank you for being part of the movement. God's at work in this place. Thank you for serving. Thank you for giving. Thank you for playing a part. Thank you for being flexible. I know there's been a lot of change this year. And thank you for your grace with that. Uh, the message stays the same. The gospel will never change. The gospel does not change. How we do things and how we present it and how we interact with our community changes. The gospel does not change. 
I'm really excited about our new partnership with the Harris Elementary School down the, down the street. We've added five new missionaries this year that we're supporting on a monthly basis. Again, thank you for your generosity. A number of things happening in the life of the church. More to come. There are best days, I believe, are in front of us, church, as we make disciples. We help people find and follow Jesus. If you're not in a small group, there'll be an opportunity to join a small group here soon. I'll be sharing more about that on, on Sunday. Mission trip is coming up here the first full weekend in October through our partnership with One Mission. We'll be sending the team to Mexico. Uh, years ago, Boulder Mountain sent teams. It's been a couple years since we sent a formal team. Really excited to have a team get back on the mission field as we partner with One Mission in Rocky Point, Mexico. Uh, thank you for, again, your part and your involvement and your generosity. We'll see you on Sunday as we continue to look at the church in the book of Acts through the series called Sent. I'll see you then.